Why, hello, hello, everybody. I think second time is a charm, but let's do this again. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the stream. We are live. I am your host, Marion, and I am going solo dolo today. Fondamon is not here, so... It's just my face, my voice. I'm sorry, y'all. I know you're all disappointed. But yes, welcome to the stream. So I actually had two separate streams open. And yeah, I don't know what happened. Your boy was tripping over here. I thought YouTube was messing with me. But nah, use your error. I'm just dumb. So yeah, so you let me go ahead and get the chat up and running. The correct chat this time. Hold on, hold on. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Because yeah, when I had the other chat open, it was only showing like half the people. And I was like, this doesn't make sense. Streamer etiquette is trash right now. TB to H. <laughs> Shocked Pikachu <laughs> says yo again. All right, we fixed everything. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. I was stressed over here. My palms are clammy. I am sweaty. <laughs> but then Dante's Bell says, hey, and then Pikachu is here as well. Hello, hello. Yeah, I was reading your chat earlier in the other stream too. And uh, it turns out I had the wrong stream open. But Pikachu says, yo, I'm here. First one here. Yay. Not very often I have the chance to join an American PokeTuber live stream. I know I was saying how like the time difference is so crazy. Like I think you said... It's supposed to be 12 over there right now, right? So that's a big difference. And I was also saying, if you need to go to sleep, go to sleep, girl. I know you guys work tomorrow and whatnot. You got an early start. Yeah, go ahead. It's okay. You said hi already. Go ahead and get that sleep in. But yes. So yes, I forgot what I was going to do. Oh, yeah, huh? So I do have to show it off again because the two people that was in the other stream saw this already. But for you guys who are just joining up right now, <gasps> the camera is not on my face. Hold on. Or it's not on the overhead camera. There you go. We actually got a mystery package from Miss Melis. Thank you so much. We're going to be opening this when she gets here. Or maybe after the break. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But yeah, even then, um, we're just chilling right now. Yeah. Not, no one bought in yet. So, I mean, if anyone wants to buy in, then go ahead. Just hit me up. I do have the PayPal information in the description below. It's on the uh, Excel sheet. I believe that's the right Excel sheet. But if it's not, let me go ahead and... Put down my PayPal stuff. Yeah, you guys. Now, I feel like I messed up my own schedule too. Because last week, I did not stream at all. And the week before that, I actually did a weekend. And I think that's throwing everyone's like scheduling off. And yeah. So I'm sorry, y'all. But this is supposed to be how much you call it. I'm going to bring back Tuesdays for sure. I don't know if I want to keep three or five. It depends. On you guys, I mean, right now it looks like the the analytics ain't too great. I mean, I don't even think we're gonna be breaking anything, but it's okay because I'm just gonna open up stuff for my personal collection anyway, so it doesn't matter. Riza on Twitch says, "How many packs will you open, bro?" Well, let me tell you some. We have absolutely zero people that bought in, so zero people for the breaks. Probably a couple packs for myself. So yeah. And the Pikachu said, "It's like 15." Oh, oh, I forgot you do that 24-hour system over there. The metrics are different. It's like 015 here. It's okay, I'm gonna hang out here a bit. Okay, for sure. I had you waiting here too for a little bit. I saw that you were here before everyone else, so yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> and then Tingly Moments ASMR. Hey, I see you got the right account now. It's no coop L. It is Tingly Moments ASMR. She said, my guy, my girl. Hey, hey, hey. And then CJ says, is this live now? Hey, Marion, it is live now. I don't know if you saw the mess up. I actually had two streams open. I don't know what's going on with me. Like last week too, when I was streaming, I had my mic muted for like five minutes and I was talking to myself. And during that time my mic was muted, I was replying to the chat a second time. Uh, then everyone was saying, yo, your mic is still still muted. And I was like, bruh, I'm going to have to reply to everyone a third time. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with me. Your boy messed up. You know what it is? It's actually because I have, for my caffeine intake, I'm actually um, cycling out my pre-workout. Because, um, yeah, right now a scoop, a full scoop of pre-workout is 400 milligrams. And when I'm taking one whole scoop... 
I'm actually not feeling anything, so I'm just like, yo, you know what? I'm probably just gonna have to, like, stop on the caffeine real quick just so I can, like, readjust my body because I'm building a tolerance, and your boy doesn't want to do that. Timmy Moment says, since you exposed me, yes, there you go. Pikachu is on Twitch as well. Hold on, dropping on both platforms. Need to drop a high here as well. And we also got Dave DX Vid on Twitch as well. He says, hi, what it do, DX? What it do? And then CJ say, hello, I was there. Yes, you saw all the embarrassment, my my mistakes. I'm sorry. What are you going to open up for your personal collection? Yeah, I don't know. I have a couple uh, Shining Fate stuff. We got the box. This is everything I bought from that uh, Target run. Hold on. If I can find the other tin. Haha. <laughs> voila. S'il vous plaît. On de toi. It is Shining Fates. I just got Shining Fates. And maybe I might go get some more stuff. But yeah, if you're just joining up right now, um, we have no one that bought it on the break yet. And if you want to buy and go ahead and toss it in the chat, I have my PayPal in the description as well. If you don't want to buy in, just go ahead and chill because I'm going to open stuff for myself anyway. So it doesn't really matter if no one buys in. Lamau. Like my coffee? I know I was just explaining how I'm trying to like decrease my caffeine intake, but I got a cup of coffee. But don't worry, it's only half a, half a serving of the... Um, See, I had trouble with this. Brew? Grind? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Tingling moments. Thank you so much. Says, Lamau, you want me to buy in more so you have some more to open? No, it's okay. Honestly, I might just open up the stuff that's supposed to be for the breaks. Because, um, yeah, it is my own product. I know you're not supposed to be opening stuff that you're supposed to be selling. But, hey, who cares? Here's my stuff. I'm going to open it. Shock says, hi, Tingly. Pikachu says, you speak French? <gasps> oh, you understood what I said. Usually when I like throw out like random French phrases, people don't really know what I'm saying. But that's literally the only phrase I know. It's one, two, three. S'il vous plaît, un, deux, trois. What does un, deux, trois means one, two, three. S'il vous plaît. I don't know what that means. I'd be saying it, but honestly, I don't even know myself. <laughs> but Okay. This is for myself right here. I'm gonna put myself on the Excel sheet, Lamau. <laughs> and then we have Dr. Bell. We can bring Taco later. Oh, you know what? You can bring that boy right now. I think he's napping. If you guys don't know, Taco is my good boy. He's my doge. He's actually really mean, especially right now if he's just waking up from a nap. But yeah, we could bring him here. Let's go ahead. Okay, so we have three packs. Look it, look it. I'm saving you guys. The trouble because if someone were to bot in and they open up these three packs we'll see what they get all right so if it's no hits that's good for you guys and then suffocating dreams if you guys don't know suffocating dreams is coop aka tingly moments asmr on twitch i mean on youtube but suffocating dreams is her username on twitch it took me the longest time too because i see a couple people joining up on like my friend stream and whatnot with the word dreams in their username i'm just like wait is this is this coop i don't know <laughs> But here you go. Code card for whoever wants it. Yay, woohoo! One, two, three, four. And then Tingly Moment says, Taco and Kirby will get along. I demand it. Oh, you gonna see. He doesn't even get along with us. This guy hates everybody beside Mama and Lola. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you were to buy in, this is what you would have gotten. And every, all the packs are randomized too because I had like three booster boxes and I mixed it all up. So hits are not guaranteed. Womp, 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 conk holder. Nothing special there. It's a sad day, ladies and gentlemen. It's a sad day. But uh, honestly, that's a good thing, though. If you guys didn't see my other post that I did on Instagram, I actually opened up just one pack after last week's stream, or not, the week before that. I opened up a pack on that stream. Just only one, and I actually pulled a full art. So I'm like, oh no, I'm throwing off the ratios. That means we have one full art less to pull. I think my English was right there, right? <laughs> Dotler, Dotler effect. Every time I say this, no one answers, but can that, can someone tell me what the Dotler effect is? Ponyard, Mankey, Sizzlepeed, Ball Toy, Golbat Reverse, and... Ooh! I'm taking all the bad packs out for y'all. And then Pikachu says, need to see you pull those alternate art cards from this set. Dude, that is impossible. I heard it's a myth. Literally, no one I know... Pulled. Actually, no, I had a homeboy, Zyron, who actually just bought one booster box and he pulled the Tyranitar. I'm like, can I get that luck too? And even in last week's, um, we opened up around like 40, 50 packs. 
And we only got like three or four full arts. So I'm like, yo, that's crazy. The hits aren't that great. But then the week before that, we did those battle boxes and we pulled some good stuff from them. I mean, actually, technically, no, no. Technically, we did pull good stuff, but they weren't from battle styles. It was from, mostly from Darkness Ablaze. Because if you guys don't know, the battle boxes with the Blastoise VMAX and the Venusaur VMAX, they come with uh, Darkness Ablaze, two battle styles, and I think a regular Sun and Moon base. And even the Sun and Moon base was hit, and we got that Rainbow Rare uh, Umbreon. So and there's some crazy stuff. Yo, look at that. Absolutely nothing. All right, you guys, honestly, don't even buy in. Y'all gonna waste your money, because uh, you guys saw that? I pulled nothing. Let's see. What time is it now? We are looking at uh 3.23. Oh, wow. You haven't been streaming for... <laughs> it says right here, 10 minutes only. Damn. Does it have to be, like, the change of frequency of lights or sound? Kind of. It has to do with sound. Actually, it does have to do with lights, too. It has to do with color, to be more specific. You know what? I don't want to be um, BSing because I don't even know what the Dotler effect is. I believe the Dotler effect is when something is going closer to you. It's red or the, the the frequency or not frequency. The light, the light that emits from that wave or whatever is actually red. And then when it goes farther away from you, it's blue, I think. Oh, Isabel's here as well. Hi, Mara. Can I buy two slots? You just missed it, too, because I opened up three packs just for myself and I hit absolutely trash. So... Yes, I got those packs out of the way for you guys, so maybe you guys can get something better. But two slots, aka six packs, I got y'all. I got y'all. Voila. And Marvin was telling me that one of, I think it was Israel that pulled the uh, the Shining uh, Umbreon from Hidden Fates, right? Y'all are wildin'. Always pulling the good stuff, man. But here we go, we got three stuff, and um, I got y'all. I was gonna say, Ven... You guys do Venmo, right? I actually don't have my PayPal open, but I'm pretty sure you guys do Venmo. But just, yeah, go ahead and tell me when you guys shoot the payment. And Tingly Moment says, don't tempt me, Marion. Oh, we're buying packs? No, don't do it. I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll save you the time and the heartache of not pulling anything. Don't buy in. <laughs> and then we got Shock Big Shoot. What if you guys are new and just joining us? Feel free to leave a like and hit the sub if you're enjoying this hard work, this hardworking man's free content. Show your appreciation. No pressure. What the? That was my attempt at doing those little, um, turutu. That's how you, I think, say in Tagalog. But I don't know what the English word is for the little, um... What is that called? I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. The little blow thingy for celebrations. <laughs> but yes, the, you guys, the like does help. The subscriptions does help. So yeah, go ahead and drop it for me, please. Your boy is struggling out here. I haven't gotten, like, a new subscriber for a long time. But then again, I haven't even been uploading. So yeah. Dantes Bell says his birthday is in a few days. So turn up the stream. You right. I might have to do a separate birthday stream. Oh, yeah, huh? This is what I was doing. This is for Isabel, and I'm guessing the other one's Israel. So, yeah, I'm gonna wait it out. I'm gonna wait for a reply. And I, let me go ahead and open up PayPal as well. Because it sucks, because I only have Venmo on my phone, but my phone is being used. I know I say this every time we stream, but yeah. I always gotta mention it, just in case other people pay with Venmo. PayPal. But I should open this up, just in case. Isabel says paid! Alright, I got you. Honestly, you guys might be the only ones uh, hopping in today. And if you guys do go to the, what you call it, because me and Marvin are planning to go this Friday as well for another restock. We're going to go really early this time. I'm probably saying like around 5, maybe 5.30 or 6 at the latest. But yeah, if you pull up, I got you with the whatever you pull here again. All right, everything is opened up. Yes, it's Israel's brother that pulled it. Ooh! You guys are always pulling the good stuff. I should open. Nah, I was gonna say I should open up my tin right now. Because I only got one tin from that target run, and I'm probably gonna save that for my birthday stream. Hey, huh? Okay, three packs. Um, yeah, let's get it going. Left side will be is or actually I don't know. I'm I'm guessing it's Israel, right? But yes. Let's go ahead, Isabel. I know you're 100 percent in here because you're the one shining it up right now. So let's go ahead and open one up. And you already know if there's two people doing a pack or I mean, uh, buying in slots, we're going to do uh, a little pack battle type of thing. thing. Alrighty. One, two, three, four. Let's get it. We got the leaf. Sword, I don't know what's up with this card, man. Like, I played the game. I know who these guys are, but why did they have to include him? It's like they're forcing on, like, these random characters. 
Oh, Shark Pikachu says, I pre-ordered with me some chilling rain. Congrats on that. I have not been able to pick up any. Like, there were a couple. Oh, I see something in the back. Oh, look at that. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Barcharisu and... Oh! I, did you guys pull this one last time, too? I'm tripping. I think this is our third time pulling the single strike Urshifu. That is funny. That's crazy. I swear, they only have the same cards in here. Imagine if they had, like, multiple alternate arts in this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Shark Pikachu was like, first pre-order victory, everyone. Yo, yeah, as I was saying, uh, wh where did you pre-order it from? Because I know Safari Zone, their thing sold out just like that. Because it was up yesterday, and literally it was only like two to three minutes that it was up for. Wild. Hold on. I'm just getting sleeves. I know I announced myself just leaving without even telling everybody. And we do have a little bit of top loaders. But don't worry. We have a whole case right here. Not a whole case, I mean a whole stack. Voila, s'il vous plaît, en de toi. Okay. Let me drink it up. <laughs> Isabel says yes, too many of them. Oh wait, homeboy said, Shock Peter says that's the alternate art? You, you tripping. Oh my god, it is the alternate art. Isabel, this is the alternate art one. Let me try to get the number in focus. Oh, y'all see the shakes? But this says 168 out of 163. Oh my god, you guys... <laughs> I love how we're just trashing this card. Like, bruh, we pulled so many Urshifu VMAXs. But this was the alternate art the whole time? Yeah, tripping. What the heck? Shock Theater's like, I don't think you pulled that one, Mar. Bro. Oh, you do. Shocked, you are completely correct. I did not know. But, but all right, tell me this though. How come this doesn't look like an alternate art? What what is? I think it's like the same pose but a different background, right? Let me go ahead and pull it up on my screen. Cause honestly, I don't believe it right now either. Shocked if it wasn't for you mentioning that's an alternate art, I probably would have skipped through it. No, yeah, it is an alternate art though because it's one sixty eight out of one sixty three. Wow, <laughs> that's some crazy stuff. Oh my god. Yeah, Isabel was like, yes, too many of them. But what if we've been pulling the alternate art this whole time and we thought it was just the regular full art? That would be hilarious. Right, hold on, let me go ahead and put this in. Y'all give me five minutes. I gotta get the right shake in. There you go. There we go. Shock Peter says, I'm tripping. No, I'm tripping. You got it correct. CJ says, nice, awesome pull. It is. And I'm just so shocked how it's, it just looks so similar, man. Maybe it's the color scheme? Maybe it's the, um... Yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna pull it up on the screen right quick. Hold on. We're gonna go on, uh, Poke Lector right quick. So, Battle Styles. Battle Styles card list. Bring him back the nifty, ifty, kif keyboard. Hold on. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, hold on. I'm gonna have to put the face cam on. Ooh, y'all see that? Oh, a lot of ugly. Hold on, don't worry. Three, two, and one. Haha! -ha! So, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down. So, everything at the bottom is gonna be where the alternate arts are. Bro, that is the alternate art! Right here! 160, it's right after the rainbow rares. Yo! Alright, where's the OG one? Hold on, where's the regular Urshifu VMAX? I s oh my god. Bro, you kidding me? That is exact- Alright, it's literally the same stance, but his hands are placed differently. You see that? This is it right over here. Single Strike Urshifu VMAX. That's the regular one in the in the set. Bro, are you serious? That is way too s similar to be calling that an alternate art. But nonetheless, Isabel, you guys did it again. Always pulling the good stuff, I swear. Go ahead and bring my face out of here. But yes, it's the alternate art! Whoa! <laughs> Isabel with the funny or the laughing emoji. Yes, I know you guys. I I wasn't expecting this either. But the CJ says cutest keyboard ever. I that keyboard has to make an appearance at least once in the stream. And then Shark Peach says different. Oh yeah. Well, what did you say before that? Oh don't worry. You don't need to correct yourself. I got you, bro. I got you. You said different pose. Oh Pokemon trading card collectibles in the game. Or oh, I'm sorry, collections. Pokemon trading card collection. I'm sorry. I don't. I want to get your name right. But he is here as well. Hi guys. What it do? What it do? Glad you could make it because look it, we actually pull an alternate art. 
And shouts out to the boy Shocked, because again, if it wasn't for him mentioning it, I probably would have skipped it. So this might be the alternate art in the whole case. Unless we're getting lucky. Oh wow. Imagine that though. Hold on, I just gotta get this in here. I'm having withdrawals from my caffeine. I'm shaking. Alright, well there's that. Isabel, I think you take the W unless, uh... Or is yeah, Isabel takes the W unless Israel pulls that uh another alternate art. That is oh my god, you guys, I, I I'm speechless. I'm literally speechless. That's so funny. That was literally first pack magic of the stream too, of you guys and the stream. Oh, shock Pikachu! She said that's my favorite card of all the alternate arts. Y'all can have the Tyranitar and the other blue guy. <laughs> you don't like the uh. The Rapid Strike- I like Rapid Strike better just because you can tell it's an alternate art. And he's just meditating. Like, literally, half of the artwork is the same. Like, his stance is the same, but his arms are different. To get more technical, he's actually in, uh, Southpaw. Yeah, this is Southpaw. Southpaw is when you're- Actually, I don't even know my fighting terms either. Jesus. But, did I do the card trick? I did do the card trick already, okay. <laughs> And Isabel says, I think Battle Savage has let us down so much that I don't even look forward to good pulls. <laughs> For real. Technically, this is a good pull, but even then, we're just like, what? Too many of these guys. We pull too many. Oh, then CJ says, I have class starting now. Oh, okay. I'll try to catch the live when my class is done if you're still on. Bye. Best of luck on the pulls. That's what I'm saying, CJ. Every time you pull up, we do pull something good. This is you. This is your doing right here. The CJ luck. And Shock Beach says, look at the pack art. And... Whoa, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Look at the pack art and out of next time to the alternate art. Oh, you're right. I see what you're trying to say. You're saying get the pack art and compare it because that's the same artwork. Okay, this is Rapid Strike. Hold on, hold on. I believe that's what you're trying to say, right, Shots? Is that, um, the... God dang it, let me just look. I'm pulling, like, all the wrong ones. Jesus Christ. Can I buy a slot for Daniel as a present? Yeah! Says Dantes. Yeah, you are right. Look at that. It's different. It's different. Do you want it sealed or no? If it's a present, then uh, you might want to keep it sealed. Alrighty. So this is uh, Israel's pack. Okay. Yeah, we've been lacking. I was going to do the card trick, but I saw something already. <laughs> oh, why me? But let's get it going. Hit more Pharaoh, the escape rope, Hondor, Scatterbug, Honage, Gligar, Gliding Gligar, Ball Toy, and yeah. Oh, it was actually a hollow. Not bad, not bad. Because when I did, when I pulled up the card, I just saw the top part. I was like, well, it's not a V card or anything like that. So I thought it was a regular non hollow, but wow, it's, it's a hollow at least. Mm -hmm. Sleeve it up at the least. I mean, I know lately we haven't been sleeving up our hollows, but today might be a dry stream, so yeah, we'll just leave it up anyways. Okay. Um, Isabel, you're next. Hold on. Dante's Bell says you can open it. He'll watch this when he gets home, that's why. Oh, okay. Alrighty. One or one slot. So that means three packs. Here we go. Second pack for Isabel. I'm pretty sure you can get some good. I like the aura and the boldness of this alternate art. I see what you mean. It's more aggressive. It's like his um eyes too in this, you know? It's like, um, I wouldn't say hollowed out, but I don't know how to explain that either. But I do see what you're talking about, dude, though. It's the appeal. Bruxious. Buffalant. That's so funny, though. Out of all the alternate arts we pull, we pull the one that doesn't even look like an alternate art. I do have to look at the list again. Because I feel like there's there's probably only four alternate arts in this case, right? Because you got uh, Single Strike, Rapid Strike, as in Napoleon, and Tyranitar. But that pack was nothing. Oof. I'm over here talking, opening up stuff. We're missing out on the pulls. Ooh. Oh, I think I saw something good. But... Let's keep it a secret. Let's keep it a surprise. One, two, three, and a four. Alrighty. We got the Agua. Cheryl, I actually found this card. 
on OfferUp, or I didn't find it, but I saw someone selling a Cheryl Rainbow Rare on OfferUp for $25. And I was going to swoop it, but the person is located like 20 minutes away from me. I'm like, ah, it's not worth the drive. It's a nice card, though, especially for a Rainbow Rare. It's like 25 bucks, 20. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's average. But specifically because, or especially because she's a waifu, waifu. I'm like, that's not a bad price. For Lynx. Okay, I totally lied when I said I thought I saw something good. Because I thought I saw the reflection on the pack. And I saw the code card color. And I thought it was white and green. But nah, I was incorrect. Okay. Let me go ahead and organize the bulk right quick. Oops. I left the hollow. So one hollow, one full art as of now, or one alternate art. I'm telling you, what if we did pull out the last times we opened this, or the last time we pulled the single strike was the alternate art? Cause I swear, my my mem I know my memory's trash, but I'm, I was pretty sure that this is the same card. I'm gonna have to look at the image again after. Voila. And look at me. I put up a, a little note on top of my camera saying do the timestamps, but I didn't even write down the orders. But honestly, oh, I did this incorrectly. I took um Israel's pack. Whoops. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going out of order. Dotla, Dual Blade, Pig Knight, Onyx, Mawal, Churubi, Pachirisu, Shamenko. What? Do I really like this card in a reverse more than a hollow? Oh, nice. Beautiful. Something about the, the reverse makes the Octillery pop more. You know, because the, the reflective blue or the holographic blue makes it... It's like more of a contrast. Just my thought. But still, nice. I'm going to have to sleeve both of them up because that is nice. I'm pretty sure you guys already pulled these guys. But yeah, I'm going to just leave it up for my own sake. I know I haven't been or I haven't streamed last week and the last time we left off it was actually a day before Easter so go ahead and drop in the chat did you guys do anything because I know for for us we didn't do much just because of Rona and whatnot but we did eat still we got food takeout we didn't eat in but yeah that's pretty much the most you can do and theaters have been opening up here as well and we saw show times for Demon Slayer uh, it is so tempting it is so tempting I want to go so bad but is it still safe? Is the question. Like before I start going out, I want to get vaccinated first. Okay, last pack magic. LPM for Isabel and Israel. Here we go. Well, technically this is Isabel's, but I'm pretty sure you guys are sharing these cards, right? And um, yeah, we only got... This is the only big hitter. So let's go. LPM or LPPM. Last person and pack magic because I'm pretty sure no one's going to buy in after this. Oh no, we got Daniel. I forgot. Cacnea. Oh, we could pull this one full art. Karina's focus and... Well, a whole lot of nothing. JK, we got this guy. And I didn't even bother to check the condition on him. So let's go ahead and do that. Dante's Bell says, I worked. Oh, are you working right now? Did you leave already? I could have swore you work tomorrow. All right, hold on. Voila. Let me just get everything organized right quick. But yes, let me take this out. Do I? I was struggling so hard to get this out the in the top loader, but now we're taking it out because we didn't actually look at the condition of it. There you go. Alrighty, three, two, one. Center is off, left to right, so there's more of a right border. I think that's what it means, right? When you say left to right, that means the right side. Well, let's just say the right side is a little bit thicker. Oh, back is clean. Yeah, the back is very... I think the centering on the back is better than the front. But then again, if you're grading with PSA, you do have a 60-40 split. So I, I would... not nah, actually, I, this might just fall under a PSA 10, TBH. Oh, Dante said, on Easter I worked. Okay, I'm sorry. That is true. You got the time and a half. Oh. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and put this back in the top loader. And that is everything for you guys. Shouts out to Isabel and Israel for always hopping in. I'm telling you, every time you guys join, you guys get some at least one big hit. 
but an alternate art this time around. Y'all already know I'm gonna take a picture of this and put it on my IG. Like, most of the pictures I've taken is from, like, what, what other people have pulled. I still have, uh, Israel's photo. I took a picture of the, uh, Umbreon Rainbow Rare. I haven't posted it yet, but y'all already know I'm gonna post this one, too. Only because it's technically an alternate art. Like, I'm not too fond of this art style. Just because it's so similar. But still, an alternate art needs to have, or needs to be given the recognition. Let's go and put this here. Voila. Okay, here we go. And, um, I didn't even have the order numbers out. Let me just, yeah, I need to get organized right quick. Because let me do a timestamp. Isabel says, thank you. You are very welcome. Thank you for joining on the break. Per usual. Let me do the number right quick. All right. 41. 76. 68. No timestamp. Womp, womp, womp. Actually, I could probably do the timestamp on here. So I'm do the quick maths. Because when you live stream and you're looking at the feed, it says instead of saying the timestamp, it says minus whatever seconds. So at 19. Minus 19 minutes ago. Right now we've been streaming for 31 minutes. So that's at like a minute 11. We'll say 11.30 to be exact. Timestamp 11.30. How many slots? Two. AKA six packs. We'll call you Izzy. And then payment has been received. Already. Woohoo! And the number is wrong here. I put two sixes. Lo siento. Forty one seven six nine. And this is for uh, Daniel Caesar. C, right? I don't know his last name. Is it Camo? One slot. Three packs. And I will say it is received. All right, Mr. Daniel. I know you're not on the chat right now. You're out and about. Oh, actually, I got to do this first. Hold on. And I do have to put the timestamp on here as well. And this goes in here. You know, and after two, since we were not getting a lot of people, I'm just going to show you guys how I do my bulk as well. Because I think it's pretty fun. But yes, you're going to be order number 69. Timestamp it right now. 32 flat. Let's do 32 flat. Or 32 30. Did it really take me 20 minutes to open up six packs? Jesus. All right, Dantes. Okay, Daniel. Three packs. And I feel like I did get some of the bad packs out of here because I opened up three. If you're just joining up right now, I opened up three packs for myself earlier. And yeah, we pulled nothing. So I'm getting the bad seeded packs out of here. So more chance for you guys to get more stuff. Yay! And we actually have three different artworks. No Tyranitar art, but we do have the Urshifus and Napoleon. Let's save Napoleon for last because we have two Urshifus. Oh, Melissa is here as well. Hey, peeps, I'm here. Melissa. Okay. We were just saying, or not just saying, but in the beginning of the stream, I was showing everybody what you sent us. Voila. It is a mystery box from Melissa. So, yes, I believe, since you're here now, you go ahead and tell me when, when we could open it. Because I am going to stream on either Friday or Sunday for our birthday stream. But we could open this now. But then again, I, I don't think we have a lot of people here. So, because you did say that we can give away some stuff inside that box. So, um, maybe we might do it. We might open it Friday or Sunday. I don't know. But anyways, thank you, Melissa. <laughs> but yes, we have three packs for Daniel. Let's go ahead and open this up. Nice and smooth. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, no. I think this has really bad whitening on the corner. You see that? So let's hope for nothing good in this one, just cause I don't want to, uh, I don't want that big hit to be, to be damaged. Escape rope, tower of waters, sparrow, Zubat, 
Cubone, Frillish, Blitbug, Tool Jammer, and Lickitong or Licky Licky. Okay, good thing there was nothing in there because that corner was very white and then had like a lot of edge wear. Second pack in. Melissa says, it's up to you. You're welcome. Oh, this is a hard decision. This is a really hard decision. Because the thing is, I did want to open it when there's more people here. Just so um, we could give away. Or we have like uh, more people hopping on the giveaway. But if anything, I might... I could open it... Actually, no. I'd rather open it live. I was going to say I could open it on a separate video. But then uh, it kind of ruins the whole... Uh, the oh, I did the card trick wrong. Did I mess up? Oh, I'm gonna have to rewatch that, but there you go. You got a Tapu Coco V. <laughs> Not bad and girder. Okay, at least it's a hit. You know what? Drinking coffee right now is a bad idea. I have been trying to sleep early, and usually if I try to sleep around like 10 o'clock, I try to like cut my caffeine at 12. And it's already 4 o'clock and I'm still I still have my cup of coffee here. And it's hot! I don't know if it's just me, but Or just Bay Area weather, but I feel hot right now. Tapu Coco! Got a regular ultra rare, not bad. One more. And I don't think you guys pulled this yet, Dantas and Daniel. Put that away. Here we go. Code card. Got one, two, three, four. Oh, the Melissa says you should give at least something again. Yeah, that's the plan. I was going to... I mean, it depends what's in there because I honestly don't know what's in it. <laughs> and then Dante said, yes, you did four. I was recording. Oh, I did four? Yes, you did. Oh, you, it was four. That means it's correct because it is four cards to the front. Huh? What if there's like a card missing? But honestly, it was a hit, so it doesn't even matter. Oh, King's Row Reverse Rare. I like the artwork on this one. And a Jellificent. Jellicence. So not bad. At least you did get one hit. So Daniel, I know you're going to be watching the recording. I hope you didn't pull this guy. Tapu Coco. He's like in a lot of sets, yo. Like I thought we were going to like um, see the end of him. For so Sword and Shield. But nah, they had him in so Sword and Shield base. And now here again. Jesus. I, sw I, like, I swore like he was in every Sun and Moon base. Or Sun and Moon pack. Or Sun and Moon set. Sun and Moon set. There you go. Let me go ahead and get a box over here. But yeah, I think I might just uh, keep the time at 5 o'clock now. Because I've been kind of like, yeah, as I was saying earlier, I'm streaming pretty sporadically. And I think it just works when people, where I have a set schedule. So Tuesdays, I will stream. At 5 o'clock. And the thing with that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I do want to start streaming more than once a week. But I don't have a lot of packs to open, TBH. Like, right now, too, it's like we're not really getting a lot of people. So I feel like these are going to be really short streams. But, I mean, if that's okay with y'all. Because, uh, honestly, I would open up, like, stuff from my, my personal collection. But I don't have a lot of stuff, TBH. So, yeah. If anything, it might be, like, one of those uh, chill streams where you can... I don't know. <laughs> if there's no packs open, I feel like there's not a lot to do. TBH. I mean, I do. I would play, like a like a. What is it? Diamond and Pearl. There you go. But I do need like a emulator for that. <sighs> Cause yeah, let me go ahead and look at the analytics. Three views on Twitch and eight people on uh. On YouTube, so hey, shout out to all eight of you guys. <laughs> really weak stream. I I do believe it's because uh, three o'clock is usually when a lot of other streamers are on right now. So yeah. <laughs> oh, Shrek's box is in the house as well. Yo, my dude, Shrex, welcome to the stream. I'm glad you can make it. We actually might be cutting this short because not a lot of people bought in. So I might just open stuff for my personal collection. But if Shiny's there, tell her I said hi. Uh, then Tingly says this was fun regardless. Oh, <gasps> thank you so much. I feel like if I don't do anything on stream, I feel like I'm boring people. So like I try to I try to open up as much not as much stuff but I try to just like consistently keep it going you know at least have be busy with my hands but if no one wants to buy it it's all good I'm gonna open up this uh, Shining Fates Pikachu V box and yeah 
Yeah, it, actually, it would make sense, Melissa, if you're still here. I think it would make sense to open that up on my birthday stream. Because we're going to be doing a giveaway for that. So, yeah, that would be even more fun. Woo! <laughs> oh, this is, Shrek says smash that like button, you guys. Yes, all seven of you. Hey, there's more likes than we do have viewers. But you guys better like that like button. I'm pretty sure you already did. So, yeah, go ahead. If you haven't already, go ahead and like it. But let me go ahead and open this up. Oh, the Shrek says, nah, bro, we're here for you as much as the cards. Are you really? Look at me flattered out here. <laughs> but thank you, thank you. Yeah, because it, it, honestly, it's it's really hard to, like, only do streams when you're just opening packs. Because that means you need a whole lot of packs. Like, I mean, that's why I kind of do breaks. It's because I don't have the money to be, like, opening case by case. So the best I do is, like, break even. And that's why I don't charge a lot for my packs either. Because I just want to break even. I just want to open up stuff for content. Have fun with you guys. Just chill out. Hang out with the community. But yeah. Yo, this this glue is invincible. Like, I remember the first run of the Pikachu boxes that they had at the Pokemon Center. The glue was absolutely not on here. And you could literally just open it up. Alrighty. Alrighty. Oh my god. Why am I like this? I'm using a pen. I could have swore I had a box cutter. Like a legit box cutter box cutter. Ah, I found it. This is, honestly, this looks like more like a letter opener than a box cutter. But I mean, I work at Amazon. This is what they give us to open up boxes. So I'm like, all right, it's a box cutter then. Tingly says, real talk at Shrek's box. Shrek's box with the, you're not lying. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> We're getting there. We're getting there. So I'm guessing you're not streaming right now, Shrex? Because, dude, you'll be streaming at least twice a day. So I'm just like, most of the time when I go on YouTube, I'm like, dang, this man is still streaming. Hey, Shakti, she says, hope it's not from Amazon. It is from Amazon. Are you against Amazon? Oh, here we go. Dispizzle. Dispizzle. Disposable film cutter. It's supposed to be for using, or it's supposed to be used for cutting film, not even boxes. You guys, I'm real. I'm having like a struggle right now opening this. Like, when I say this glue is on, I mean it. Oh, Nicole is here as well. Yo, what up, Pokey fam? Nicole, hello, hello, welcome. We just we're opening up the shining face because not a lot of people are buying in. But I mean, if you are just joining up, don't be pressured to buy in because it's all good. We're just here to hang out and whatnot. And in the meanwhile, we're good doing like a little intermission type of thing. Where it's, um, I'm just going to be opening up this box just for my personal collection. Because I am trying to, like, uh, have a little stockpile of stuff to open for, like, my regular videos. Because, um, usually when I make videos, I have, like, a topic or, like, um, kind of like, um, what you call it? Informative? Like, an informative video where I talk about stuff. But then I know a lot of people just, like, watching me open up packs. So I try to, like, save those for the end. Voila. And I have a good video coming up, you guys. I have to wait for it to get in the mail, but I'll give you all the deets because, like, there's not a lot of people here anyway. But if you guys seen that video of uh, PokeRev talking about the fake booster boxes, the first, uh, the fake base set booster box and the fake first edition booster box, guess who bought one? Yep, <laughs> I bought a fake booster box. I was really curious, too, because those are really convincing, and I have not opened one, or I haven't even seen one. In real life, the the base set booster boxes. So I bought one of those. Oh wow, look, it's all Dragapult. Oh, almost. We have a Corviknight in the top right corner. But yeah. But yeah, I bought one of those. I'm gonna be doing a video on that. Now, honestly, they do make good uh good display pieces. I'm not gonna lie, because I know a lot of people hate on the like resellers that do replicas. But I honestly don't mind it because I do like having those as like a display piece. But yeah, I mean the the best thing he could have done for the reseller is you know just put like a like a little notice at the bottom that it's fake, because that's the main issue right now is that people are using these to you know resell it and scam people. So I know that's kind of trash. I mean, but it's so easy to mitigate that if you're a seller, right? All you have to do if you have all that resources to make a box look that good, why not just put replica at the bottom of the box where it's like not even shown or something, right? Just to let people know that it's uh it's not real. Don't open it. They're filled with fake evolutions. It's all good. I'm ready. I'm I'm prepped to to like be disappointed. But the the purpose of that video was to compare it with or like just to 
see some tail signs and red flags and see how your booster box is fake. But the thing is, I don't even have a real base set box to compare it with. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. So I'm like, maybe I could like hit up someone who has one and we can like do a video together where we compare the two boxes. But literally, I have no one in my circle, none of my friends... Or like even like on IG, like other content creators, none of them really have like a like a booster or a first edition box. Nothing. But we did a ball guy in reverse. Hey, shots at the ball guy. That's my man's. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, I really missed the chat right now. Shrek said, "I'm taking a break to watch you, buddy." <gasps> I'm flattered. <laughs> thank you, thank you for sliding through. It means a lot, especially when like it's pretty dry right now too. So everyone that pops in, dude, I really do appreciate it. <laughs> the Melissa is cool. Whatever the birthday boy wants. I'm not birthday boy just yet. Maybe on Friday, on Friday. <laughs> Other Shock 3 says, hi, Nicole. Hi, Nick. Hey, Melissa. Thanks for the mystery box, says Shock Pikachu. Uh, then Shock Pikachu says, it won't, it, it won't look better sealed as a display piece. It won't look better sealed or it would look better sealed? Because I was honestly thinking about buying two just so I could open one open one up on the channel and then keep the other one sealed just to like uh as a display piece but yeah because once that shrink wrap is off then it, it's over it's game over it's not even gonna look nice if i just like put all the packs in and close it up because what real what's really like um what is what's the word i'm looking for what what looks nice about it is the wizard of the coast stamps on that seal Ooh, i got a crimp card Oh, baby shiny or kid shiny because this is the third evolution of Hatterene. You, I, I almost forgot that we're opening up Shining Fates. What the heck? Look at that crimp card. Melissa, you collect these or you collect these, right? So I'll save that off for the side for you. It would. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because after I open it, it's one and done. Like I'm probably just sit there in the corner and like in my storage. Because I do want one to display. But it is pretty expensive. It's like a, the total was 140 euros. I think euros converted is like 180, 190. So it's almost $200 for a fake booster box. I was like, never have I thought in my life would I spend this much money on a fake box. But here we are. And yeah, the guy is based in like, well, I'm sorry. He's based in Europe. So the shipping is going to be terrible. I mean, most of the cost is from the shipping. Especially with the box that big. I think it's like um, 15 bucks, 20, not even 20 bucks. It's like um, euros. And you already know the conversion rates for that is pretty bad. Euros are worth more than dollars. And yeah, these packs are looking pretty thin. 10 additional cards plus that energy. Let me count this off. Yeah, Melissa, I still do have your uh, other packs that you guys bought from the last break. So this, I got to put that off to the side so I can remind myself. But yeah, I'll throw that in there. Already. Never mind, this is actually looking pretty thick. Hold on. We're gonna count it off. Ready? One, two, three, and a four. Alrighty, let's count it off, ladies and gentlemen. So we got whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was a oh. That was a card off, but yo, we got a Skyla! Another one? I have so many of these! Like, oh my god. Like, I would be hyped! I would! <laughs> but this, I think this is like my third one! <laughs> How many Skylas do we need? I would rather pull another ball guy. Oh, you know what? No, 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 I only pulled two of these. The other one was for Shubo, it was for his break. But still, wow! Centering is off left to right, so the left has a bit of a border. Uh, then, uh, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Now, the sleeves do look dirty, so I don't know if it's whitening on the card. Let me take that off. Hold on. Okay, no, it looks fine. Wow, this is clean in terms of, like, the, the edges, the corners. Centering is off, dude. At CGC, this is not going to get a good grade. I can tell you that. Probably, like, an 8.5 to an 8. Shrek said, I'll trade you, bro. Hey, yeah, hit me up with what you have. I know for your trade stream, you only showed off your, um, uh, what is it? No, actually, no, you did show off your, uh, what you call it, your Shining shining Fates cards. But hit me up again. Because I really don't need this card. 
<laughs> for sure. He said next tree or next trade stream. I got you. Nicole says, hey, shock with the bra. Shrek with the good luck. Bam. Luck or four leaf clover emoji. Shit, I'll take one off your hands. How much? We might be, we might trade this. Now, if you guys didn't see a Shrek's uh, last stream, he actually did one for um, trading. It's actually the first stream I saw with that type of, um, with that type of, what's the word I'm looking for? You guys, this is what happens when you all have caffeine. I can't really think straight. I can't find my words right now. But yeah, it was the first stream I saw where you're just doing trading. So I was like, that's interesting. I don't see any other PokeTubers doing that. Top loaded up. Yo. This box is actually pretty good then. Where's the other hit I got? Oh, it's right here. Wow. And we actually got one more pack left. Last pack magic for tonight. What time is it? Oh, wow. We've been technically streaming for an hour. Because if you're joining up right now, too, I actually messed up on my stream. So I had one op or I had one stream um, scheduled. But then when I started streaming, it made a new one. So there was two streams that were on my channel. And yeah, it took me a while to realize it. Shouts out to Shocked and Dantes. They, they told me about it. Shocked Pikachu says content. That would that have made sense? The first video with that con Actually, no, that does make sense. The content would have worked. I don't know why my head when I put content in there. It's like Mad Libs, you know? When I put content in, be in between the blanks, I was like, oh, that doesn't sound right. But now nah, saying it out loud does make sense. First video with that content. Yeah, that does make sense. Last pack luck. LPL. LP mag or LPM. <laughs> Last pack magic. Last pack luck. LPL. LPM. There you go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, that Skyla was already enough for me. I was not expecting that. Especially because it's Shining Fates. Like, I'm just anticipating the reverse. But then when I go after that, I forget you can get full arts. Oh! Oh. I thought it was a, a Shiny Snom. I'm like, oh, I could, I'll take that for sure. And a professor's research. Womp, womp, womp. But y'all, check it out. Check it out. This is for sure going to one of you guys, though. As in, like, if someone wants to buy it. As in, someone wants to trade it. Shrex, yeah, just hit me up with what you got. I'll wait till your next stream. I'll keep that in mind. I'll put that off to the side. MLS, if you're still here... This is going to you, this crimp card. I know a previous stream ago, you said that you like crimp cards or you collect crimp cards. So this is going to you. Let me just leave that up. We We on. So yeah, I think that about does it, everybody. I'm just going to chill here for a while. So I'm going to, yeah. Because we don't have a lot of people buying in, I think I'm done with opening packs, but you guys are just, if you want to chill here and just chat it up with me, go ahead. We could do another Q&A, but I'm going to show you guys how I package up my bulk or my orders. So I can get everything done with too, so I don't have to wait after the stream or anything like that. Because usually I lag when it comes to like packaging and whatnot. Because on Wednesday, because usually I stream on Tuesdays, right? And then the next day i have work in the mornings and then after work i have to ship out everything so that's why usually it takes me two days to ship because i do have work the next day and then yeah ups closes up or usps closes at five so yeah shock says i'll buy it shark says yeah bro that trade stream was fun and went well it did you actually got some uh a lot of people trading up some stuff that's crazy that's actually a really good concept i like that i like that idea because honestly for myself i don't really collect for master sets i just open to open so I know I have a ton more cards that I just don't know I have doubles of. of. And then Shark says, if it's still up for grabs, or if no one claims it. And then Dante says, yay, packaging. Oh yeah, huh? You're supposed to package these. So here, I'll package up. You can package up Daniels. Because that's your man's. Made like seven trades. Packages go out tomorrow, by the way. Oh, for sure. No, no rush on that. TBH. It's all good. Because I know the struggle too. Especially if you're working. And then you have like that strict time frame too. Especially... If you work in the mornings and you gotta get there by five, it's like, yeah, no worries. I understand if you can't get it out by tomorrow or even this week. Send it out next week if you really need it to. <laughs> but yes, this is how I organize my stuff. First off, we gotta get rid of the code cards. Because I do just toss everything in here. Yeah, Shrek says, that's the thing I miss about in real life trading. TV yeah, I mean, actually, I haven't traded. You know what? You actually part... You probably started collecting before me because i started during covid so i haven't really experienced uh trading in real life i did a couple trades online and some of the f oh let me tell y'all a story real quick this was supposed to be for a separate video but i don't i don't know if i did post this on instagram but the first trade i was a part of the guy was actually trying to scam me and i i'm a part of that one group on facebook called pokemon well pokemon trade feedback 
And pretty much everyone, when it comes to trades, they like advocate, yo, GNS, have them like package up your stuff, get everything on camera and whatnot. So when I was talking to this guy on Instagram, he was like, I was like, oops, sorry. Oh, Isabel, if you're still here, I'm sorry. I threw out your bulk. Was there any good cards there? But anyways, yeah, I was supposed to trade a Champion's Path ETB for an Evo ETB, right? Uh, then he was kind of pushing it on me to like send out my stuff first. And I was like, nah, you know what? If I send out my stuff first, then I need you to at least record yourself packaging it up and ship it off to USPS, right? I want to see you drop it off. But he didn't do that. So then uh, it was like a couple days where there was like no response or anything. But then he hits me up one day or like a couple days after saying, hey, I sent out the stuff or I sent out the stuff. And then he was and then he showed me a receipt that had the tracking information. But I was like, what a part of the agreement was that I will only send out my stuff if you send me a video of you packaging what's inside and a video of you dropping it off. But he didn't send he didn't send me any of that. So I was like, look, I have to keep my stuff now because I don't know what you sent me, especially if it doesn't have weight on the receipt. Then I totally have no clue. So then he was just going off on me saying, oh, you know what? You're trying to scam me and whatnot, huh? And I was like, look, it, I, I told you this already. Once I get the package, I'll send out your stuff. Uh, you're you're keeping in contact with me. I'm like keeping you updated as well. So, you know, there's no chance of me scamming you. But then when the package comes, guess what he sent? It was not an Evo ETB. It was a Hidden Fates tin, Charizard tin. And back then too, this was like when Champion's Path first came out. So those ETBs were hot. The Champion's Path, oops, the Champion's Path, uh, ETBs. So yeah, the value was not there. So I was like, look it, bro. I, I knew it. And right after I opened it up and I showed him, he blocked me. So I was like, yeah, this guy was no good from the get-go. I know that was like, I don't know if you guys kind of caught on with what I was saying. Usually when it comes to storytelling, I'm bad at this. Like, I, there's like no structure in my head. And I'm just saying what comes out. <laughs> and the Shrek's box said, that's iffy. It was bad. It was really bad. I deleted the post. He actually deleted his IG too. And there's a couple other people in the community that got scammed by him as well. And they were big accounts too. I was like, bro, how? How do you let this guy scam you? The red flags are there. But yeah, that's what happens though. And the sad thing too is that he was a bigger account as well. He had like 3,000, 4,000 followers. And that's the thing what I don't like about like social media and whatnot. It's like you look at that following and you're already associating that with credibility just because he has followers. He, yeah, yeah, that's stuff like that. But yeah, I was, I'm gonna make a separate video going more in depth because there was the messages were funny. The way it played out, he like outed himself, and I was like, bro, really? You think I'm gonna fall for this? But yeah, story time over. That's it. I don't think I did it justice, so yeah, I will talk about it in my video. And on top of that, I haven't opened up that Hidden Fates tin either, so I'll open up what he sent me that video as well and watch it be a zard then i'm like you know what i'm like kind of okay <laughs> i ain't mad anymore but yeah this guy was sending me threats he was like yo i'm gonna get my man out there hit you up we got your address we're gonna pull up bro you're gonna get blasted and what i was like bro fuck up man you don't do shit on twitter fingers <laughs> what is stuff oh a base hit when it came out for me he tripped and said shock dang bro can't scam the oak five legend he tried he tried his best he tried his best and the other people he scammed too, because I posted this in that uh, Facebook group as well. And uh, then, um, so yeah, as more people started getting scammed, they were looking this guy's name up and going into that Facebook group to see if there was like any track record of him. So then people were coming up or people were asking me, yo, I heard this guy tried to scam you too. How did it play out? And I was just like, oh, yeah, the red flags were there. He was telling me to ship out stuff when he didn't have like evidence or proof that he sent out the right items. Uh, then he was actually threatening other people too and people were getting tripped up about it he was like yo this guy is threatening my family he said he's gonna like he has my address and whatnot too so i'm even more scared i'm like are you guys really that scared what the heck i mean i know i could see why because when someone poses a threat and they like, threaten you online for me when it comes to like stuff online there's like for me it's, it's just not real Social media and whatnot. I, I don't even know if that's a good explanation for it. But anyone could say anything on anyone could say anything online, right? So I already knew he wasn't about it. He was just trying to scare me and whatnot, especially like the way he was coming off from the get-go. So I'm like, if he's trying to scam me, he's gonna try to like scare me by saying some random stuff and threaten me about it. But I was already prepared for that. But it's it's just sucks how I wouldn't say that how sucks how gullible people are. But people really just don't have the street smarts, TBH.
Shredder Xbox says cyberbully. He really, he tried. He tried his best. Dr. Bell says, our dog finna get him. Oh, Taco going to take him out. Digital tough guy, right? Man, that guy had Twitter fingers. I swear. So, uh, as I was saying to uh, this, the whole part of this part of the stream right now is to show you guys how I uh, organize my cards. You guys kind of saw me sort it out, but what I do actually is I take out the reverse or I separate the reverses and regular rares. I actually didn't do the rares yet because if you guys are sending in your bulk then uh yeah reverse rare i mean yeah reverse hollows and regular rares have a different rate from commons and uncommons so when i sort this out i actually do that work for you just to make everything faster if you ever like do separate your bulk so yeah we only had one regular rare if you guys are on right now too oh wow we had two rares only and they're the same card that's about it. Buffalo? Nah. Bruxious? Nah. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, and then I actually, instead of using team bags, I actually use these uh, adhesive packs. I don't know what they're called, but yeah, they're called uh, adhesive. Oh, treat baggies. I don't know. But yeah, they're 3 by 4 if you guys want to know. Because these are way cheaper than your uh, team bags. So I think like for a pack of 100 team bags, I think it's like 500. Or five hundred five dollars. I'm not too sure on the prices, but I know for a pack of two hundred of these, it's around ten to fifteen dollars. So it's for sure cheaper than team bags. But the thing is, is that because these are for treats, they're kind of thin, so you can only fit like forty cards in one thing, in one pack, I should say. Sleeve? No, they're not really sleeves. In the bag, one forty cards in one bag. And this is why I actually like um doing the way I sell my packs, because you guys know I do it in slots. Typically, I would do one slot is four packs because that's the exact amount of cards that go into one bag. So one slot equals one bag. But yeah, lately I've been doing a uh, three, three packs only because these one these packs are more expensive than the way they used to be. Because you already know how that goes. But yeah, I technically I would count it, but since we know we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards out of here, this is six packs. So that means six times eleven because you do have that energy card. And we do have, oh, not 11. I'm sorry, we got one, two, three. Oh yeah, we have 11 cards and there's uh, 66 cards because uh, there is the energy card as well. So that means 11 minus 66, that is 55 cards. So we're gonna have to split this in groups of 26 or 27. AKA, I'll just split this in half and just like make sure the stacks are even. Yeah, if you're just joining up here as well, we're actually not even opening up packs. I'm just packing up like the, the breaks we've done in the past. We're not even in the past. These are the breaks that we've done today. So yeah, I'm just showing you guys how I package this stuff. So, yeah, that looks about even. So then one pack over here. And usually what I like to do is separate the uh, bull cards from the hits and whatnot. But because we don't have a lot of cards here, I might just combine everything. So yeah, that was half of the cards. And then, as I said earlier, these are separated. So, Electivire. So we got one, two, three, four, five. We counted 11, right? Or 10, technically. So yeah, we'll just separate it five by five. So five cards in this stack. And then five cards in this stack. Perfect. Yeah, I'm surprised if you guys are still watching. I'm surprised you guys are still hanging out. Because this part of the stream is just literally just, yeah, me yapping away. Showing you how I package stuff. There's nothing really uh, informative here other than how I package or I pack orders. But yeah, you see that? You see how like this barely fits. Oh, look at that perfection. It fits very, very well. There you go. That's pack number one. And then this little adhesive thing goes off. And then you try to close it off like that. Voila. Ooh, look how clean that is. And that's pack number one. And then you just rinse and repeat. And then we do have just this one hit. So that goes on the top. Oh, well, then shocked with it. If you guys are new and just joining us, feel free to leave a like and hit the sub if you're enjoying this hardworking man's free content to show your appreciation. Yes, you guys. I, I believe everyone already hit the like button because we only have 11 viewers here and we have 11 likes. So if you're just joining up here and you're not one of those people, hit the like button. Helps a lot. 
<laughs> well, Kuya says strawberry matcha at it's boba time in the mall is good. Ooh, boba time. You talking about a new park or uh, what's the other mall that you live close to? Southland. I think it's Southland, right? Strawberry matcha. Yo, I'm gonna have to write that down. I'm gonna just hit you up after if we, me and Fonda ever go. So then, yes, we get the other bag. Voila. Dude, Eldrin, are you still selling that hollow Pikachu? From McDonald's? Since you're here already, let's trade off for it. I'll give you three packs of battle styles <laughs> for the break right now. If you want, no pressure if you don't want to. He said both. Oh, it's in both? What are you talking about? That's crazy. Here we go. Take the adhesive off. Voila. And then you fold the tab in. And there you go. Nice and complete. Oh, Kuya says you can have it for free. Yo, chill, chill, man. No, 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 no. It don't work like that. I got to give you something. Here, I'll open up some packs for you. See, if you're already uh, giving it away for free, I might as well just open up like a break for you on stream. Oh, yesterday says every day when I picked up from school in elementary school, my dad used to take me and my brother to Target to get a pack of Pokemon cards, legendary treasure. So that was a couple years back. One time I pulled a gold Zekrom. That is the chase card of that says of that set. And he said I lost it three years ago. Oof. Wow, you gotta end it off with that. What a what a good start. It was all happening what now. You know, we're opening up Pokemon cards. You get the chase of that set, and then no, I lost it three years ago. <laughs> Kuya says, Sheesh. Oh no, hey, we got you right here. After I pack this up. continuing with this little uh lesson tutorial of how i pack stuff up here we go so yeah we got these two packs we put it up the top because we want to fold it inward so that's the top part of the bubble wrap you see that pull it in pull it in voila nice and perfect and then this right here is the perfect size for this box look at that perfect measurements and then um and this is why we ha I have the order numbers, just so I can keep track of what's in which box. I would write down people's names on here, but I just have really ugly handwriting. And voila! And I do have these thank you stickers that my sister gave to me. Shout out to Dentist. But I can't find the stickers right now, because everything's a mess. But yeah, there's that. And I won't close it up just yet, because the invoice is in there. Alright, shouts out to your boy Eldrin, aka Kuya in the chat. He said he gonna give me that Pikachu for free, but nah, nah, we're trading it off. My broski. I got you with one slot. Here we go. Legendary Treasures is a thousand percent the best set. Easy pulls. I did not pull, or I haven't opened up any sets from black and white, so I have no idea how the pull rates are. But I'll take your word on it. Because I know that gold Zekram is, ooh, crema de clay. Just for, just have it for free. I'm not trying to... Get pulled into this hobby too. Hey, no, it's all good, bro. It's all good. Watch this. Watch you pull an alternate R2. Now, okay, typically we would be like, let's hope for the best card. But since you don't, you don't want to get pulled in this hobby, let's hope you get nothing so you don't get that bug. You don't get addicted to this. <laughs> Shrek's box with the LOL. All right, here we go. Here we go. Cool, yeah, this is for you. Eldrin, my boy. One, two, three, four. Alrighty. Let's get my man nothing. Come on. Because if we don't get this, or if we do get something, Eldrin, it's going to be a cycle. You're going to start buying packs. Onyx. Sizzlepeed. Glam Meow. Glam Meow again, and. Okay, okay. Nothing, nothing. You know, these packs still go to you, even though you. Even though if you don't want anything, or if you don't want to pull anything, these cards still go to you, is what I'm trying to say. I sometimes I need to rewatch this stream because I feel like I'm just spitting out some random words and whatnot. Alrighty, ball toy. But yo, ever since like COVID started, I realized that I really don't socialize a lot. So I feel like that's why I'm not really that great right now. TBH when it comes to talking and like my speech because I don't talk a lot. But for oh, okay, no, I thought it was a hit, but yo, this card is really badly cut. You see that? Cause I thought like this little whitening spot right here was a was a textured card behind it. Shark Tiki, she says, join the dark side with the moon emote. Yeah, join the dark side, Eldrin. 
Because he, if you guys don't know, my boy Eldrin, Kuya in the chat, he pulled the hollow Pikachu out of one kid's meal. And he didn't know that this is like the most sought after card out of like the whole set. So it's pretty funny. But yeah, the luck on this man is crazy. Oh, Justin is here as well. My bro, he said, what's up, bro? Sorry, I'm late. No, it is good. We're just, um, you know what? We might be ending it off at this, after this pack. This is for your boy, Kuya, Eldrin in the chat. Ooh, Luxray, regular hollow. And it's funny too, because you're just trying to get rid of that Pikachu card, but I'm just giving you more bulk cards at the end of it too. So is that really worth the trade? Alrighty, last pack for Eldrin. LPM, LPPM, last pack magic, last person's pack magic. So let's get it. All right, let's go ahead and look at the code card too. Oh, you're getting nothing. All right, good for you, Eldrin. You didn't get anything. One, two, three, four. Oh, this one it has like bad whitening too. Alrighty. I don't know if you guys saw it. It was on like the left hand side of the of the card. Phoebe, Honch Crow, Silly Da Cobra, Hondor, Lickitung, Horsey, Mankey, Parcherisu, and yeah, we already knew there was nothing because of that code card, but Eldrin, I'm still down with that trade. Now, if, if you don't want these cards, it's okay, too. <laughs> I'll just keep it for bulk. But if you do want him, because there, there needs to be an exchange of goods, right? That's what a trade is. Shock Pikachu with the Kuya with the love. Respect for real, for real. It's so funny, too. Because he sent me the... I, th I think that's how it went down, right? You sent me a pick of the Pikachu, and I was telling you about it. I was like, bro, you know that's the best card to pull, right? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, it's only 4 o'clock. Not bad. If you're Eastern Standard Time, it's 7.30. But, yeah, you know, I am leaving it, what you call it, like, pretty ambiguous and random when I stream. And I do want to set a time. Friday. So, I'm going I'm going to go live Friday for sure at around, like, 3 p.m. So, that's for sure. And I... No, I'm sorry. Sunday, I'm going to go on for sure around, like, 3 p.m. 12 to 3 p.m. Because I do want uh, Fondamon to be with me on that stream. And then Friday, I might go live on IG. Just like as a little birthday stream as well. So yeah. Kuya says, Lamau, have it for free. I already worked with Tai Tai. That's a better gift itself. So yeah, my dad actually works with Kuya. They actually had the same job and whatnot. And it's pretty funny too. Because um, I, th I don't know. How did that come about? Did you tell me that my dad was working there? Or did my dad tell you that you worked there? I forget. I really forget. That was like two years ago. But yeah, that's funny. They're co-workers. But ladies and gentlemen, I think that about does it for this stream. Shrexbox says, I'll catch you later, bro. Hey, see you on the next stream. I'll see you on your next stream as well. But yes, you guys, we are about done here. I know this was a shorter stream. Um, but yes, again, I will be going live on Friday on IG Live. Maybe it might be YouTube. I don't know yet. I'll probably just post an update on Instagram anyways. But yeah, Sunday for sure, I'll be going live just to open up some stuff. It could be a break. I don't know. If you guys want to buy in then, then yeah. Your birthday is coming up, says Shrexbox. Yes, it's this Friday. Yeah, me me and uh, Shiny were both Aries. That's why when it was her birthday, I was like, hey, fellow Aries, baby, let's go. <laughs> but yeah, it is this Friday. So that's why I'm kind of debating if I want to go live on Friday. Because I don't know if we're going to be doing anything then. Because we were supposed to go out and eat. But I'm just like, I don't feel right eating out. I don't have a vaccine yet. So yeah. Oh, the Kuya says, Dean met your dad. And I told him, I know you too. Oh, that's hard work. There you go. See, it was so long ago. Because to be honest, that was two years. Time has been going by pretty fast. But yes, okay. We're trying to wrap it up here, you guys. I might be going live Friday. I will be going on Sunday for sure. So until then, everybody. See y'all in the next stream. Bye. Peace. Goodbye. Thanks for joining us.